with recent events of my life, it's been very clear that I need to make some lifestyle changes. So, let me explain. As the thumbnail and title would suggest, I haven't actually made it yet as of recording this, but who knows? Yes, this is all about gout, and it's something I was recently diagnosed with. Long story short, I went to the hospital thinking I broke my foot. No, it turns out I got gout. Didn't think I'd get it because I've always known it as a rich man's disease in the olden days. People that were wealthy could, would, would get gout because it was general causes are alcohol, red meats, you know, sugars, fats, that sort of thing. And I, I consider myself to have a pretty decent diet. You know, I don't overload on alcohol. I haven't really drank out any alcohol for like a month. I do have a fair bit of sugar, to be honest. Like, I've always got sugar in my tea. Um, I do like fizzy drinks, like Coca-Cola and Fanta, stuff like that. Um, but I don't drink enough water. So I am going to try and make it a conscious effort to do that and reduce my sugar intake. But I made a food diary as best as I can over the last few days, past for when the symptoms started. And I think mine is down to just eating too many... Uh, what the hell was that? A bit of a freaking orb or some fluff or something. I think I've just had too much uh, red meat, like um, beef, you know, ham, that sort of thing. Uh, definitely too much fats, you know, like a Mackey's sort of thing. And it just really made me think of my own lifestyle. Like, I'm 32 years old. I didn't think I'd get gout. Well, it is prominent in the ages of 30 to 50. So I was like, a fair game. But it just made me realise that I am growing old. I'm, I'm not a spring chicken anymore, as they say. So, yeah, it just kind of made me think, I'm going to have to make some changes to my own lifestyle, do a bit more exercise, get a bit more fruit and veg in me. Obviously, don't overdo it in the fruit because they have uh, sugars in there. Definitely drink more water. And, yeah, it was quite quite a revelation, really, not being able to... I mean, if you don't know what gout is, sorry, I don't know if I've already said this. Um, it's a form, form of arthritis, um, and what happens is your kidneys can't flush the uric acid, I'm reading it as I as I speak. So what happens is the uric acid crystals have to go somewhere. And for some reason, it ends up in your big toe. But like the, the joint of your big toe on your foot. Obviously, that's where your big toe is, dummy. But anyway, um, so it's like your foot just balloons. Goes a pretty shiny red colour on the joint. And it's bloody awful. Like, you can't walk. I can't even put socks on. Like, th this is how bad it is. When I went to a and E, I I had to go in my Crocs. Now, I'm not really... I don't really care about how I look, generally, like what I'm wearing. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm also... I think I'm getting a cold or something because my voice keeps going. But I'm in a and E with friggin' Crocs on. Not the best look I've got. But I could just about get my foot in that. And they're just, what, foam? So that they can manipulate easy. But like just walking around my house, it was it's agonising having a blanket on my foot felt like someone was sitting on it. So when I put socks on it, it was like someone's bear hugging me. Really bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> just thought I'd share that with you that anyone can get gout. But really, look after your life. You know, make sure you're eating and drinking right. Do 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 enough exercises you need. Just look after yourself, really. Make sure the old noggin's alright. Because we all know how that can get impacted. And all mine did when my, uh, when my dad passed away. That, that ruined me. But, I, I, yeah. I think really it was just kind of a surprise that I, I, I have gout. <laughs> I really was surprised. I didn't expect... Well, you don't expect it. But I didn't think I'd get it. Because well, I, I thought I was relatively healthy. But, yeah. I've got to rest it. Elevate it. Put some ice on it. And hopefully... I mean, this is, what, the fourth day now? And it's normally a three to five day thing. I'll be quite happy once I can put my shoes on. I can cope with pain, but not being able to put my shoes on, to just go for a walk. Don't like that. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, just for I do give it a little update. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.